Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a banded tablecloth using the Alexander Technique. We're going to put a strip of purple around the edge next to the white. So we have to cut some bands and measure them. So the, here's a little tip. If you use an old piece of soap that's been worn down to a nice sharp edge, you can mark the fabric in white very easily. Now the trick is to make sure you don't get all wound up, slumped over, trying to get close to the fabric. Neck free. Head moves delicately up so the whole spine lengthens, the back winds back. You can widen your stance, get a little closer, but now you have a little more room to do your work and you won't wear yourself out. Same thing when you come to draw that line along the measuring stick. Don't get yourself all curled over here. Catch it. And if you catch it, release your shoulders, let your neck be free, your head move up, your spine lengthen back, widen back. You've got a little more space to see what you're doing and a lot more space to be easy in your neck. And that's step one. So once you've finished marking the strips, then you're going to cut. And this is another place where you really need to pay attention. Normally people raise their shoulder, tighten their arm, and work really hard to cut. So if you catch yourself doing that, first thing you can do is lengthen your arm and release your shoulder. Let your neck be free. Let your whole spine lengthen, your back widen, whole spine lengthening, and then you've got an easier time of cutting those strips. Step two. Now that I have strips, I need to pin this strip to the tablecloth. I need to give myself a three and a half inch extra tab, and then I'm going to pin it. And here's the thing to watch out for with pinning. Most people let themselves be collapsed and get really close up again. If you find yourself doing this, you can lean forward, let your neck be free, your head move delicately, your spine lengthen. You can even use the chair to support you as you let your back press into the back of the chair. And now it's an easy matter I don't need all that closeness. I'm just going to gently pin the edges of this purple strip all along the white. Not letting myself come back down. And if I do, I free my neck. I can lean forward, press a little into my feet, and easy pinning. Now that I've pinned the strips all the way around the tablecloth, I'm now going to sew it. Uh-oh, something's going wrong. You need to be careful that you let this upward lengthening direction happen. And you can lean forward to get close enough in, but be really alert to coming down into or drawing up your shoulders. Release your shoulders, lengthen your whole torso, 
And if you want to get closer, you can lean forward from your hips. Stop and take out the pin every time. Lots of space and freedom. And that's it. Now I've sewn the band on the edge. And the next thing to do is create a mitered corner right here. You're going to fold back the fabric on both sides at an angle so that you create a very nice mitered corner. Once I've got that folded back, I pressed it so it was a little easier to see. And now I'm going to sew along that edge. Here's where you really want to make sure that you don't get all crunched up. So let your back come back, let yourself sit comfortably in the chair. And as you line up that needle where it needs to be, Let your arm lengthen, your head move delicately up, and off you go. And that's it. Now that I've sewn together the mitered corners, I'm going to create a flat felt seam on each part of the band. First, I have to trim the white so it's shorter than the purple. Now watch as I cut. It's easier if I can have a straight line for my wrist. And you want to, again, always be watchful. You don't need to come down in here. If you want to be a little bit closer, widen your stance. And then you can bend your knees and lean forward. I'm able to use a um, little bit of an Alexander lunge here. As I trim the white, nice and short. Then I'm also going to trim the mitered corner, this side is going to be wider than the other side so that I can fold it under. I'm going to do that with a with my iron. So I just start here and a little bit of turning under and pressing it. So it's folded under very nicely. As I fold it under, I want to make sure that I resist that temptation of getting down here or pushing my, dropping my shoulders and my chest so I'm really close. I'm going to widen my stance and get close by letting my neck be free my head move delicately forward and up, my back widen as I press this flat felt seam. And you'll see once I've done it with the sewing machine, it's going to be a nice finished seam. Do a little bit of pinning. And again, don't want to get down in there, getting my shoulder up. I can keep my space and my length as I sort out the pinning that I need to do. Once I've done that, we'll go up and sew it in a finish. So I'm finishing the flat felt seam and it's time for me to take a mini break. Whenever you're doing something intensive, 
or your focus is really tight, it's always a good idea to pause, look out in the room, and become aware of the space around you. Then return immediately to your project and continue that awareness of the whole space. Once I've finished my flat felt seam, I'll have my tablecloth.